Hello, it's RV Joe. Thanks for tuning into the video. Um, weather's been bad here last few days. I wanted to get out and do a, a tour of a camper. Weather not cooperating. So today's not bad. I decided to come down and do a tour of our camper, uh, our family camper. It is a 2021 Grand Design Transcend Explorer 321BH. Uh, it's, we love it. It's, we've got six in our family. It's got four bunks in the back half bath for them it's got an outside kitchen uh so stay tuned i'm gonna head down there we're gonna get this uh get this uploaded for you hey guys i just want to make a mention of a couple of friends that have really supported me and given me a lot of advice um, getting started with this youtube experience uh, mike and joni cox uh, we go to church together and they're good friends they uh they've got a, a channel called those who glamp together um, so please check it out. Uh, they've got a lot of good videos, good content. They're very knowledgeable. And uh, so, yeah, I'll put a link in the description, but uh, take a look at it. Now, the original plan was I was going to pull this out, pull the camper out of the storage spot but i don't think i'm going to um i think i'm just gonna do the outside the best i can and then uh get on the inside but i've got the wheels chocked and um not the best day either so i'm just gonna I'm just gonna get uh so you can see the setup and uh mostly show you the inside i'll get on the roof though all right, I am gonna hitch it up and pull it out. There's a boat on the other side, so I want you to see the whole thing. Okay, on the roof of our Transcend 321BH. It's a 2021. Um, I gotta tell you right now, I'm sure my wife's not pleased. She's gonna be like, why didn't you take your time and get this all cleaned up and presentable? But I'm up here, here we go. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, if you see that bell, hit that bell. Get a notification when I post a new video. Thanks. All right. So this is what it looks like in storage. I haven't been up here in a couple months since we uh, stored it. There's my solar panel. I did put a second AC on this. Here's the, uh, the standard AC. Um, this is a long unit. It's 37 total feet. So I opted for a second AC in the bedroom. Um, it's another Furion. I matched it up to, uh, to what was there. There's our skylight. We got some, uh, some, uh, sewer line vents there. I did put max air covers on the three vents. There's one there, two there, and a third one back there. Oh, four, I'm sorry, four max air covers. Uh, put a slide topper on this unit. You can see it right there on the main slide, the, well, the only slide. Um, so I love, I like the idea of a slide topper. I mean, three things. Yeah, the slide topper, you know, most people just think that it's going to keep the debris off the slide top if you're camped under a tree or, uh, you know, leaves, sticks, acorns, whatever. But it also keeps heavy rain. If you've got a downpour coming, It'll keep most of that rain off that slide box and off those seals. Um, also gives you a little bit of a temperature barrier in the hot months. Keeps some of that sunlight off the top of your box. All right, so yeah, there's a solar panel, continuous charge. There's my truck. It's a 2014 F-250. Um, got the awning out. Let it breathe a little. Let's let it dry out a little bit. And uh, it's a nice big awning. I did have a little bit of a uh, incident and I've got some gorilla tape on there, but that's gonna happen. There's some more evidence of it there. Um, but yeah, I gotta get up here and clean this this spring for our first trip. So again, when if you're up on a roof, please be very careful. I'm up here. Um, and that you, you can see there's snow and slush up here. I'm trying to stay in the center, trying not to move around much, just in one spot. Um, but it, it is a danger, so 
you got to be careful. Thanks. All right, so that's that's the camper roof. I'm going to head inside. Okay, back down. I'm going to uh, turn this around and give you a shot of the whole setup. And I've got so we've got an F250 6.7 liter diesel. It's a 2014. Um, got a tonneau cover on there. This unit's got a power tongue jack, 60 pounds of LP, or I'm sorry, 40 pounds of LP. Uh, got a battery there. Can send. It's got that thick aluminum siding, very well insulated. It does not have a uh, an LED strip under the awning, but that outside light right there does fine for us and we've got some exterior lights that we put on um, when we do camp got our bug screens on here that's your that's our six gallon water heater furnace exhaust we put a tv out here got our bedroom entry door there so i did upgrade the tires um, these are carlisles they're f rated that's the load range is the f um, and I got these after like one year of rolling on the, uh, the standard tires that came with it, which were the West Lakes. I didn't have any problem with them. I just, I always, uh, seem to want to upgrade the tires after at one year of, of, uh, riding on them. So these are, um, I wanted to get some good years, but at the time they just weren't available. They were short. Uh, so these, this was the next best thing. So I'm pleased with these, these Carlisles. All right. So there's the outside kitchen. Got a little beverage cooler. Two burner cooktop pulls out of here. So we use this a little bit, not as much as we thought we would when we bought it. Um, we do a lot of fire cooking. Got some good storage there. We've got a spare tire cover. We've got our bike rack there. We do carry bikes with us and got the backup camera. I love that. Helps you out, especially with a long unit like this. Helps you to uh, see what's behind you, even as you're traveling or just backing into a spot. The slide box. Here's my storage here, pass through. I got it pretty well packed with stuff, but uh, that's it, folks. All right, wanted to run down the specs on this. So this camper, it's 37 foot long, 3611 total length uh, with the hitch and the frame and everything. Um, weights, you're looking at 7,600 pounds dry weight and 9,300 on the gross. Uh, hitch weight's probably like 850 on the tongue. Um, height, exterior height to the top of the AC, I not 100%, but I want to say it's 10 foot 11 inches, so just about 11 feet. And uh, any questions, please put them in the comments. All right, that's it for the outside tour. Let's go take a look at what's inside. All right, heading inside. 321BH, this does have the uh, heated and closed underbelly and uh, I wish uh, I had gotten this thing a little cleaner but it doesn't look bad we clean it every season before we put it away so um, let's take a look here so this is the bunk bunk unit for the kids heading back here there's four bunks back here one here one up here then going across the back you got one there one underneath got a ladder plenty of storage there's four nice big drawers here um, usb and power you could put a tv here but we chose not to um, light switch so kids are they're growing so they are um i've got we've got 16 year old triplets and so they are kind of 
wishing we had a slide back here, but we don't. So, all right, so lots of storage back here. Two big bays. Got a little cubby there. It does have a half bath for the kids. Let me turn around here, show you the half bath. I'm not level, so doors are not staying open for me, but here is the half bath back here. There is a fan, sink, some storage there, porcelain toilet back here. So that comes in handy for us. And got this sliding door, give them a little privacy. Some more storage tucked away back there. So that's the kids' room there. There's our AC. Um, doggy bags. We got a little mini schnauzer named Ruby. She comes with us. That's kind of ugly there. But there's our, uh, so there's our command center. All our tank levels slide out, awning. Little shoe garage down here. Come inside, flip your shoes off, put them under there. We've got the trifold sofa here. We've got a storage ottoman that we picked up so we can put our feet up. It's pretty nice, matches pretty well. Put some blankets in there. We do like the decor in this. Love our, our dinette. We all sit around this and uh, drink our coffee or eat breakfast, lunch. Usually we're eating dinner outside by the fire, but um, 12 volt refrigerator. We've loved this. Cools down real quick. It's nice and deep, but uh, yeah, no more waiting a day and a half for it to come down to temperature. Half hour it's down, even in the summer months. Uh, there's our smart TV, radio storage there. We've got a little doggy drawer for Ruby. Right at the bottom there. It's our stove, oven, microwave, glass front cabinets, our sink, decent counter space. Bathroom's big, it encompasses the entire width of the trailer. So it's a pass through bathroom, but it's, it's very spacious. We love our shower. We Honestly, we don't seem to have much trouble with hot water. Our kids know not to take long showers, get in and out, do your thing. Got a vent there, uh, skylight in the shower. Decent counter space here in the bathroom. And then the bedroom right here, we did upgrade the mattress. Uh, it is fit for a 60 by 80, a residential queen. Um, that's storage up above, storage on the sides with a mirror, little cubby underneath, storage under the bed. There's a door here. I guess they do that in case uh, people that are nervous about pulling their slides out, which we're not. If we stop pretty much anywhere we stop, we, we run the slides out um, if we need to. But if you don't want to run your slide out and you want to pull over to a rest stop or somewhere and use the bathroom, use the bedroom, you can get in right here at this door. Otherwise, with the slide in, you can't get past this spot. The slide comes in all the way to here, closing off this door. So this is our 321BH. We're excited about our first trip, and then our big trip is Myrtle Beach in the summer. So um, Hope you like this tool. I've got to move this because I am blocking the entire storage facility here. I pulled it out just thinking, well, no one's going to come in here. So I'm blocking everything, but luckily right now no one's here. So I'm going to get it tucked away, get it back into the spot. And One thing I want to mention, I noticed uh, doing this here today. I haven't been to this camper in a while, but um, when we put it away, apparently, you know, it's a good idea to check your windows because my kids, a couple of windows in that bunk room were slightly open and I didn't realize it. So as I'm going around it, I see a little bit of uh, windows cracked. So um, just one thing to think about when you're storing or 
um, getting ready to hit the road from a camping trip, double check those windows, make sure they're all nice and tight and closed. Uh, one more thing I do want to mention on these, when I store this, um, you know, you want to be careful of rodents, you know, any mice or anything gets into your unit and that's terrible because they can do a lot of damage. Um, so you don't want to have any food of inside the unit, you know, where that's going to attract any, any rodents or, um, any wild animal to get in there and do some damage. Um, I put down, I'm just covering my tires, but I put down, uh, mothballs all around the tires. Cause that's one spot where they can, they can get in. And, uh, so I put those by the tongue jack as well, uh, cover up the tires and, uh, I haven't had any issues. I also, we also put, um, dryer sheets all around the, the unit. So, you know, knock on wood. Uh, we haven't had any issues, so we hope that continues. All right, I've got this backed in there. I just got to tidy it up, get the chocks in there, and lock it up, and then I'm out of here. But I did get this lapel microphone to help with the uh, the wind and the noise, and um, that, you know, filter out some of the outside stuff. So just curious what you thought of that. If you have any comments. Um, I'd love to hear them. So you guys take care. God bless. Thanks for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, and share the video if you can. Hit the bell for notifications. Please be good to each other, and God bless you.